Hello everyone and welcome to another SQL query training session with Learn at NoStar. In today's session, we are going to write a SQL query in which we are going to generate any missing date records in a table. For example, let's say we have a table orders and every day some orders are placed. But there might be a few days when no orders have been placed. So every time an order is placed, a record will be created in the table with an order date of that particular day. But there might be days, for example, there is a missing date which is 10th of January. So there are records created, orders placed on 9th of January and then the next order is placed on 11th of January so there are no orders which were placed on 10th of January but our intention is to create an output report in which we show all the or the number of orders which have been placed each day of the month in January so for that requirement we need to create all the records or all the date records so if there are 31 days in january we need 31 records in our output so the first step in achieving this is to create a temporary table which is a cte in which we will be creating one record for each day of the month of january so to do that what we need to do is first define our ranges so i'm going to use declare so let's say declare two variables first is start date and the data type is going to be date and we can define it as the first day of January and then we are going to define the end date so I want to see the report for January in this case so I'm going to define my end date as um, the 31st of January now the next step is to create a CTE in which we are going to create or generate a record for each date of the month of January. So uh, to do that, let's use the with statement with and let's call uh, CTS dates as select. So the first record in our table is going to be equal to the start date. So start date is 1st of January. So we are just going to select that variable at start date, at start date as let's call it order date. And then we are going to do the union all. And we are going to keep on incrementing the records in this table by one. The function that needs to be used is date add. And you can define since we are going to add one day. So our option is going to be DD. How many days are we going to add? We are going to add one day. And to which column? So column is going to be order date, which we just created above. Okay. So again, this has to be within our select statement. So select data DD1 order date from. Now, since we are referencing the order date column, which is a part of the CTE, which we are in the process of defining. And so we are referencing a column from the same CTE within the same CTE. This is called a recursive call. So we just need to write dates over here. Okay. And for more details on this recursive call, uh, we have done a detailed video on how to create these dummy records in a calendar table. There's a link above to that video. So check that out and you will understand how a recursive function works. So now we are adding one to the order date and this will be in a loop. So this has to go on till the start date, the order date that is getting generated through this uh, CTE reaches the end date that we have just defined above. So what we need to do in that case is define this function where we are incrementing the value by one and put less than equal to at end date. Okay, so this defines our CTE fully. Now let's just see the result the output from the CD and then we will move on to the next step so now select order date from dates okay now let's go above and let me just comment out these and now let's run our query and see what is the output
so there's an extra two over here let's remove that two and now let's execute our query so once we execute this query you can see that there are 31 rows which i have been generated and there is a continuous range of dates which has been generated so one two three four five six seven eight and ten eleven so on till the 31st of January 2022 so we have all the continuous dates records which have been generated so the next step now for us is to join this table with the orders table and then try to take out all the order IDs from the order table and then do a count on it so let's define this because order date is a column in the orders table as well so let's define it by including the table name from dates and now since we want all the date records so this has to be the table on the left end of the join because we want all the records from this dates table or cd table which we have generated and then we are going to do a left join on the orders table on dates dot order date is equal to orders dot order date and the other columns that we want to select from the orders table so we want to select let's say the order id is what we want to select so now let's if we execute all this code together we will see for each day there is the order id that has been uh, placed on that day that is uh, in the output for our query so let's say let's take the example of first of january so first of january two records two orders have been placed one has the order id of one one has the order id of six for second of january there is only one record place order place and so on now we can see that for the 10th of january there, there was no order place so the in the order id we have got a null value because uh, we have left joined with the dates table and there is no associated order id so that's why we get a null value now our problem statement was to find out the count of orders placed on each day of January 2022. So now we need to perform a count. So we are going to do a count on the order ID. So let's use the function count. And then since we are using an aggregate function, we need to apply a group by clause which would define on what basis we are trying to calculate the count so we want to calculate the count for each order date so we are going to calculate it by the order date column okay now if we execute the whole code together we will see that you have uh, the count so for first january we saw that there were two orders placed so the count is two for second of january there was only one order placed so the count is one and so on for 10th of january there was no order placed so the count by default is zero and there are 31 rows in the output for this query so if you want to prepare a report showing for each day how many orders were placed and include any days for which no order was placed then you would be able to use this query you can use this approach to create that query now having said that a better way of doing all this is to have a dates table instead of having the need to create this cte which generates uh, the continuous date records a better way of modeling the database would be to have a calendar or a date table the other thing that you can use this approach for is so this is not just limited to dates this can be if you have any uh, if you have a set of numbers which are missing and you are wanting to create a continuous list of numbers let's say 1 to 10 and there is a number 5 and 6 missing you can use the same approach you can generate instead of having date values you can use integer values to generate those numbers and use this CDE and these recursive calls to generate a continuous list of numbers and then you can uh, you can provide a solution for whatever is your problem statement so this approach can be used in multiple places basically to generate a continuous set of values if you found this video useful then please do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and i'll see you soon thanks a lot for watching goodbye